Something you don't know about water and land. Episode 1, Sand. I'm a tap now. I get to check if the water is clean enough. That's my job. But we aren't going to talk about me. Today, we are going to talk about land and water, mainly sand. The use of sand is endless. If you stack it, it becomes a building. And if you melt it, it becomes glass. Silicon chips used in motherboards of laptops, smartphones, and computers are also made of sand. That's why some say we're living in a sand civilization. However, sand is an irreplaceable resource. Some people even call it an endangered species. You might think that desertification is a problem across the world. So how can there be a shortage? The answer lies in the shape of the sand. The grains of desert sand are almost perfect circles. Strong winds bash the grains against each other, slowly wearing them out and cutting them off all the rough edges. The sand has no friction and is useless as a building material. This is why nomads have been unable to build houses and carry tents for tens of thousands of years. Not only that, you can't use it for field and track games like the long jump, golf courses, or even horse riding courses. The sand that humans need is found by the beach or by the river. Water coats the sand with a thin film, preventing it from being cut into a perfect circle like desert sand. But the problem is that humans have abused it. They say they scoop it from far away seas, but they eventually cause problems with the culture sand back into the sea. It's not just a matter of memory's life, the pretty beach is gone. The really serious problem is that people in developing countries who have lived on the coast for tens of thousands of years can be more seriously exposed to dangers such as typhoons. The coastline, which changed as sand was lost, also adversely affects the nearby ecosystem. It's a tragedy caused by humans after all. So, to solve the sand shortage problem, sometimes play recycles the substrate and care glass made from sand as building materials and glass fibers.